Glad you're with us tonight, everyone. It will be the first back to school in America next week for many of our local refugees. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree shows us how the newest Utahns are getting the supplies they need to start the school year. More than a thousand local refugees came to Granite Park Junior High to pick up backpacks filled with school supplies. I have grandchildren at home, so he's um, uh, five years old, so he's going to the kindergarten now. Bim Sapkota says a small backpack is a big deal for families like hers. A lot of families, they can't afford money to buy the backpack with all the supplies. So I feel like it's a really, really good opportunity for our community to get the backpack for their kids. Tonight was not just about backpacks. Refugee families learned about local health and education resources and enjoyed a free carnival. Starting school is scary for the established community kids, let alone a refugee that doesn't know the language, doesn't know the customs, and has very limited financial means. Utahns from St. George to Logan made tonight possible, donating more than 5,000 backpacks filled with supplies to the Utah Refugee Connection. Once their basic needs are met, they can become who they're meant to be. And so if we can help provide them with food, shelter, a safe place to be, then all of a sudden they blossom and they become integral parts of our community. Amy Dot Harmer says the best thing you can do for a refugee is embrace who they are and learn about their culture. In the next year, maybe think about ways you can go into their communities and into the things that they're doing and expand your experience. Go to their church. See what they're doing in their community. Try their food. Go to their eating establishments. In South Salt Lake, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.